Hi everyone, Christina here. So under my previous video, someone left a comment that Russia is poor and the shelves in the supermarkets are empty. Me and my mom, we decided to go check it out. Just double check how the supermarkets are doing. I've been here for a couple of months. Me and everyone else who I know are going food shopping. Maybe we missed something. Maybe the shelves are really empty and we just never noticed. So we're gonna go and find out. This is the local supermarket. We live five minutes away from it. This is where everybody else in this residential area is going to. The supermarket is inside this small shopping center that plays music that I cannot use on my YouTube channel due to the copyright. So you're mostly going to listen to whatever I'm playing and saying. As I mentioned earlier, this shopping center is in the regular residential district of a regular small range city in Siberia and it offers regular stuff that people usually need. Electronics, shoes, clothes, watches, toys, hats. It's around 11 a.m. This is why there is no one here. Oh, here's the supermarket with the empty shelves, right? Okay, we're getting into this sparkling elevator to finally see what's in the supermarket. All right, ladies, looking good. FCD sounds a bit funky in English, right? It's actually an abbreviation for a food city. There were a few important holidays recently in Russia. We celebrated men on February 23rd and then celebrated women on March 8th. These are federal holidays, people have long weekends and bring each other these small treats you see. By the way, I'm showing the prices on screen mostly. If you don't like it, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll redo the video just for you. Frying pans, apparently another idea for a gift. Okay, sweet section. Reader sport here. One US dollar and 50 cents, same as in the US, but it tastes better here. As far as I know, in Europe they have different chocolate production standards, so its taste is richer and creamier. All kinds of choco pies, barney, cookies. Fresh bread. Donuts, pastry, you can make yourself cappuccino or espresso here in this coffee machine and heat up your pastry in the microwave. How much is the fish? Mackerel is 50 cents for 100 grams, which is roughly a quarter of a pound. Trout is between 64 cents and 2 dollars depending on the kind. Salmon is 2 dollars 26 cents. Oh, here's the empty shelf. We found it. Tea selection. More tea, because Russians love tea. What kind of tea? Oh, here's more tea. So the pack of tea is somewhere around $1, $2 for a better tea. Three, four dollars is a premium quality tea. These are Russian teas, these are Chinese teas. 
This is the premium quality for $5. It's just the premium quality package, nothing more. The regular green food is one, one and a half dollar. Coke knockoff. Prosecco. Martini time. Here we have all kinds of grains. Buckwheat, of course. Pasta. Pastaroni. I have no idea how it tastes. I don't drink Coke or any kind of soda. Never. Half empty. Cheeses. Sausages. Then we move on to the ready to eat section. Smoked fish, cold cuts. Salads, stuffed pancakes or blintzes to be correct. Oh, sushi. Sushi go for 86 cents per 100 grams or quarter of a pound. Meats, can you believe that? Pork beef, minced meat, poultry such as chicken, duck, turkey. Sausages again, pepperoni, salami, prosciutto, whatever you wish for. One of our favorite sections. Nuts, dried fruits, and seeds. Pecan from Mexico. One dollar thirty-five cents for one hundred grams or a quarter of a pound. Right, my mom has got all the possible change in her wallet. Let's take a look at the fruit section. Bananas, oranges, signature Moroccan tangerines, our favorite pomelo, in winter, we mostly have a variety of apples and citrus fruits. All your regular vegetables, cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, greens, eggplant, blueberries are $2.11, One avocado is one dollar seven cents. Mushrooms are between one dollar twenty nine cents and three dollars for three hundred grams or ten ounces. Now mayonnaise, cheeses again, butter, cream cheese, condensed milk, regular milk. $1.25 
dozen of eggs is between a dollar and dollar fifty cents depending on the quality. Sour cream and yogurts. Alcohol section. Famous beluga bottle is ten or fifteen dollars depending on the size. And here we go. French wines, Spanish wines, Italian wines. Alcohol is only allowed to be sold before 10 p.m. After 10 p.m. you can only buy it in the bars, but not in the supermarkets. And the supermarkets are open Monday through Sunday, mostly from 8 a.m. until midnight. There are smaller supermarkets that work 24-7. I need a toothbrush because I'm gonna do professional cleaning for 25 bucks because it is 25 bucks here and I need a new toothbrush we have soap and shampoo so we're also staying clean here and we stay moisturized as well because we have creams and lotions we have to in winter your skin gets dry All kinds of soda but I'm going to get myself Borjomi a Georgian mineral water an elixir of life I'll take a lemon taste no cherry is my final choice ketchup ice cream what else? We forgot to show another strategically important product, sugar. So we took a video in another supermarket later. It's 75 cents for one kilo, which is roughly 2.2 pounds. QR code. I don't have much change in my wallet like my mom does, so I'm paying with my card. This is where we're going. Does this remind you of anything? Now we arrive to the top floor where we traditionally have a game zone for kids and a food court. What do we have here? Hot dogs, cheese steaks, shawarma, if you don't know what it is, you have to go and try it right now. Then sushi, burgers, and Siberian blintzes with a variety of stuffing. It is empty now because it's 11 a.m. Tuesday. On the weekends, it's usually full of families and teenagers. So yes, this Roastix place used to be KFC. It's more to my liking than McDonald's. Never liked McDonald's. Maybe because I don't like red meat. Oh, how sweet. Go into the bathroom now to wash our hands. Looks clean. Right, because they have a strict cleaning schedule, you see here. Yes, we are taking off our coats. I never see people in New York taking off their coats in the food courts. There is something unsanitary about it, don't you think? Let's see what changed in the menu. Lunch combo, twisters, chicken strips, baskets, shrimp popcorn, chicken popcorn, desserts, milkshakes. Chicken wings, 
this is what we're ordering all your regular sauces french fries I guess nothing changed let me know in the comments below if Russian KFC is missing anything This is a perfect table for our video. Okay, we didn't get much. To be honest, we only got this food to show you something because we don't usually eat this, especially at 11 a.m. So we have three spicy chicken wings, three, right, three, and small french fries. We paid $2.90 for all this. Now it's closer to the lunch time and people start coming in. Throwing away garbage because we like keeping it clean and nice for other people to enjoy like we just did. snow on the glass roof and we're going home now so I can edit this video and post it for you please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel I will do my best to post more entertaining and educating stuff moving forward see you in the next video